Hello everyone and welcome to the day you have all been waiting for. It is the Junk Couture Grand Final Announcement 2022 and today I'm going to be announcing if your design has made it through to that all-important Dublin City Final. I'm Orla Morris Tulin and we are back and better than ever with a live show. Now Junk Couture has taken on many a form over the year from going digital to being broadcasted on RTE. Let's take a look back at some of the highlights. It's about empowering young people. It's about letting them come out and express themselves and be appreciated for being creative. Obviously, everyone's using unconventional materials in their works. So many of our young people are so involved in climate change and trying to make a difference. We've got all these creative kids and they're searching for, for a platform that is similar to what football or, or swimming or, or athletics gives them. Um, and all of a sudden, Junk Church just fills that gap. You'd look at things at a better perspective now since you've taken part in Junk Couture. We've always been amazed by it and we always want to do it. Like, this is a dream come true for us to be here right now. Express our talents and to show what we can do and no holding back. We are that creative, that sport for creative kids. That's what we are, and that fits everywhere. All of our Junk Couture competitors 2022 are striving and hoping for that feeling on stage. Now, I know you're all waiting at home patiently to find out if your design has made it through to the Dublin City Final, so I won't keep you waiting any longer. Grab the popcorn and away we go. Women of Light. Scaries Community College, Balbriggan, County Dublin. This inspirational design was created using materials like flower petals, cardboard, CDs, foam packaging tube, aluminium foil, sea glass, golden beads, metal wires and curtains. Fungal Futures, Scumwera County Mead. To bring the design to life, materials such as old shorts, shoes, sundresses, wedding hats, tablecloths, dry cleaning bags, ripped up t-shirts, thumbtacks and a painter's pole were all used. Ecstatic, Old Bond Community School, Tala, County Dublin. The design team achieved this tech gothic style inspired look using different crochet techniques and materials such as shiny plastics, black garbage bags and wires. Black Swan. Mount Sackville Secondary School, County Dublin. Inspired by the classic tale of the ugly duckling, Black Swan is made from using feathers, upcycled raincoats, plastic from flower bouquet packaging, old pillowcases and old duvet covers. Just a little mosaic, Holy Family School for the Deaf, Cabra County Dublin. This design aims to raise awareness of the different uses for milk cartons. This design also consists of yellow and black tape used as COVID lines in school, copper wire and an upcycled dress. Madame Cellophane, Malahide Community School, County Dublin. This design team used an array of techniques like machine and hand sewing, corsetry, millinery and pattern making. The piece was made primarily from plastics, packaging materials and old wax tablecloths. The Masquerade Ball, Dunshockland Community School, County Mead. Inspired by Renaissance masquerade ball dresses, this look was achieved mainly using disposable masks, a dress from a local charity shop, old shoes and leftover mask strings. Miss Anatomy, St. Raphael's Secondary School, Kilmacud, County Dublin. The creative team used wires, costume jewellery, old shoes, an upcycled dress and skirt with gone off food colouring to represent how we can never hide how we feel on the inside. Royal Flush, Loretto Secondary School, Balbriggan, County Dublin. Royal Flush is created using toilet roll tubes, recycled newspaper and cardboard cut and twisted into spiral shapes, all to complete this female empowerment look. What goes around comes around, Port Marnock Community School, County Dublin. This wonderful design is created using quality street wrappers, antibacterial wipes, food colouring, net, curtains and single-use plastic bags, making use out of something that is so damaging to our planet. Ut St Dunham, that we may be one. St Louis High School, Rathmines, County Dublin. 
The design team embraced the use of recycled materials such as 250 disposable masks, wire coat hangers, plastic bottles, upcycled corsets and a plastic face shield. Donegal Rose, Loretto Community School, Milford, County Donegal. Donegal Rose is a sophisticated design inspired by the extravagant ball gown shapes seen on the roads of Tralee and was created using corks from wine bottles, medical tubes for the headpiece and handmade paper flowers incorporated throughout to add that finishing flair. Denim Dusu, Castle Blaney College, County Monaghan. The design team used upcycled jeans in various colours and shades to achieve their desired look along with incorporating peacock feathers, gems, glitter and wrapping paper throughout. Fashion Flu, St. Louis Grammar School, Ballymena, County Antrim. By using over 100 repurposed discarded masks, the design team aimed to harness the resilience of the fight against the pandemic, while retaining the pale blue colouring throughout, exuding a sense of purity in projecting their hopes for a healthy future. Mother Amaranth, Beach Hill College, County Monaghan. The design team used different techniques to achieve their desired look, such as preserving leaves, dry brushing and drip painting. The team used adhesives to create cracking effects on the leaves, symbolising the harm we are causing to nature. Monster Extinction, Our Ladies Convent, Castle Blaney, County Monaghan. Monster Extinction is based around sea and air pollution. The deterioration of the human body as a result of pollution is visualised in the design through the lungs, a carcass and a ribcage structure. Queen of Cutlery, Monaghan Collegiate School, County Monaghan. Queen of Cutlery is inspired by Gothic architecture. This ball gown is created primarily of spoons, along with black sacks and cable ties. This design aims to encourage others to express themselves through art. Packaging Punk Princess, St. Louis Grammar School, Ballymena, County Antrim. Packaging Punk Princess is made using shards of dyed PVA to create sculptural effects on the shoulders and headpiece, while handcrafted flowers are dispersed freely throughout. St. Bridget Steps Into Spring, Ballyborough Community School, County Cabin. St. Bridget Steps Into Spring consists of an upcycled halter neck top, skirt, shoes and a headpiece. Inspired by Celtic Irish history, the design team chose earthy tones such as green and brown and added gold to incorporate the Celtic design. The Blank Draft, Skullmira Bunkrana, County Donegal. This design is runway ready. The white gown showstopper is made of widgets from cans, an old tent, used styrofoam, old footballs, wire, old shoes and white pit balls. The Children of Lear, Loretta Community School, Milford, County Donegal. The Children of Lear is based on the popular Irish folklore. This piece is made from recycled white materials and feathers. The design team wanted to tie in Irish culture as well as tackling the struggles of pollution in Irish waters. Balm, Castle Blaney College, County Monaghan. Balm is a fashion forward, chic design. The wood is cut into big pieces and fashioned together. Wooden blinds were cut into triangles, drilled and fitted together with wire to hold them in place. Battle On, Presentation Secondary School, County Wexford. This outfit is made of old Nespresso and Starbucks coffee pods. Used Costa cups, old ribbon, an old headband, old chicken wire, gold paint and a ripped paper bag. Beadtastic, Colossia Brigia and Escorti, County Wexford. An old dance leotard, an old choir skirt, rhinestones, fishing tackle, plastic beads, shoes and a pair of black tights make up this stunning creation. God is a Woman, Tullo Community School, County Carlo. This design was fashioned together using tiki bar roof straw, hula hoops, fine wire, old shoes, fabrics, corsets, belts, bamboo sticks and recycled tinsel. Get a Grip, Presentation Secondary School, County Wexford. Get a Grip is all about celebrating the amazing women in sports. This design is made using approximately 960 hurley grips, a broken hurl and an old top and skirt. Optical, Blessington Community College, County Wicklow. This stylish monochrome design is created using materials such as old wires, worn tights, an old shirt, cereal boxes, black duct tape and paper. Minima, School Creation 3, County Leash. The theme behind this elegant creation is that beauty lies within. This design is made out of over 100,000 tiny styrofoam beads, medical bandaging and wired hangers. 
Praja Pati, Colossia Breda and Escorti, County Wexford. Using 125 milk filters, meal bags, chicken wire, fabric curtains, lace curtains, bed sheets, a bodysuit, a pair of shoes and lots of wool, this design was brought to life. Rage of the Plague, Mansfield Garment, County Wexford. This is a three-piece, hand-tailored, gender-neutral suit made from unused, discarded medical scrubs, old cardboard, thread, a wood stick and paint. Rising from the ashes, Loretto Catholic Girls Secondary School, County Wicklow. This design is made from an old bedsheet, over 200 plastic bottles, 700 feathers, a repurposed desk mat, quality street wrappers, an old headband, tights and heels. Unveil a passe, Castlecomer Community School, County Kilkenny. This design was put together using recycled materials like an old corset, plastic spoons, an old curtain and compostable bags. Virtual Reality, Loretto Catholic Girls Secondary School, County Wicklow. The outfit was constructed using an upcycled old corset, computer keys, plastic bottles, CDs, curtain fabric, broken hula hoops and an old tarp. Acantha, Ursuline Secondary School, County Tipperary. Inspired by the theme of Christianity and St. Patrick, this outfit was achieved using a potato sack, curtains, sheet bowl, a tablecloth, metal boning and embroidered staircase carpet. Contamination Cycle, Salesian Secondary College, County Limerick. This unique design consists of flowers, tea bags, tires, half a bike wheel, preserved flowers, moss and a recycled headband. Deforestation, St. Dan's Secondary School, County Tipperary. Using materials such as plastic bottles, plastic fruit containers, wire curtain rods, cardboard, old bubble wrap and cracked car lights, this design was brought to life. Experimental, Pubble School Cork and Dublin, County Kerry. This futuristic style two-piece was created with the use of an old duvet cover, chocolate wrappers, old jeans, tin lids, contact lens cases, used inhalers and ring poles from cans. Global Spiral, Colossia Nananagel, County Limerick. This design is comprised of mesh, aprons, oven mitts, tea towels, rope, old jewellery, wires and bed linens. Green with Envy, Ursuline Secondary School, Thurles, County Tipperary. Green with Envy brings light to domestic violence during the pandemic. This outfit is created using two leather couches, 60 shoelaces, scraps of leatherette, 42 metres of veiling on briquettes and a curtain ring. Little Bow, Colossia Dun Kick, County Tipperary. Inspired by Little Bow Peep, this beautiful design is ready to take to the runway and raise awareness of plastic waste on farms. The design is made primarily from fertiliser bags. Ode to Joy, Colossia Nananagel, County Limerick. Ode to Joy is inspired by the European Green Deal. The eye-catching design is made from old bed sheets, builder's mesh, old folders, an old rope, disposable shoe covers lined with bin bags and tin foil. On point, Barissa Kane Community College, County Tipperary. This design is made from bull rushes, feather sourced from an old pillow, upcycled jewellery, scraps from the metal workroom and old ballet shoes. Open Book, Villiers School, County Limerick. Open book symbolises that even if something is old and used, there is always room for growth and development. This design is achieved using old and used books and an old bedsheet. Print outside the box. John the Baptist Community School, County Limerick. This 1970s style outfit and accessories is created using stripped electrical cable, cardboard, magazines, old pillow filling, plastic bottles, a phone cover, a fruit netting and a circuit board. Back to the Future, Knockmuir Secondary School, County Longford. Back to the Future is a futuristic coat of armour made out of multiple upcycled rustic materials all in an effort to encourage people to go back in time, live sustainably and reconnect with their planet in order to have a future. Blue, Our Ladies Bower Secondary School, County Westmead. This design goes right back to the roots, reinventing old Irish crafts in a new way, including patchwork in a modern tumbling block effect, blanket stitching, rooting, cardening and felting. This incredible design is made using sheep's wool. Bohemian Pampas Tree, Wilson's Hospital School, 
Heathland County West Mead. Pampas grass was dried for three weeks, stripped and attached to the skirt lining to achieve this look, while 200 champagne corks make up the bodice. The design is an actual living piece, with live moss and grasses borrowed from gardens to be returned to the soil when repurposed. Disposable ball gown, Claren College, County Galway. The skirt is made entirely out of reused rubbish bags, while the wide flowy sleeves are created from thousands of clothing labels, which the design team collected from their classmates. To achieve the finished look, multiple techniques were used, such as sewing, hot gluing and paper mache. Electric isotope, School Breed, Dublin Road, County Galway. The design is called electric isotope as the sole material used is wire from electrical fencing. The wire was crocheted, plaited and woven into a range of intricate patterns and a flower motif which embellishes the bodice. Gaia, Athlone Community College, County Westmead. This design consists of embellished handmade roses. The top is made from canvas which has been embroidered using old thread. The headpiece is inspired by the headpiece that the beautiful goddess Gaia would also wear. Modern Victorian, Skullmuir Strokes Town, County Roscommon. The top of this design is made from football patches. The front of the skirt is made from old curtains while the back is made from paper flowers dyed in tea and coffee. The headpiece is made from old jigsaw pieces, copper coins and sunflower seeds and the umbrella is made from old glass. Nested in tradition, Moat Community School, County Westmead. This design is made primarily of sheer tights. The focal piece of the design is a large cloud-like headpiece that engulfs a tall wire nest. The long coat took inspiration from Aaron Nish jumpers and on the back is an embroidered tapestry of nature. Regenerate. Our Ladies Bower Secondary School, County Westmead. The main material used throughout this design is baling twine. There are multiple techniques used throughout to achieve this stunning finish, such as weaving, sewing and fraying. Shocked, Colossia Navone, County Galway. This design is made up from scrap wires, copper and fuses. The wings were built from old oil skins to remind us of our dependence on air travel on the island of Ireland. Tale of Two Pods, Moat Community School, County Westmead. Tale of Two Pods materialised through manipulating over 3,000 used coffee pods. It was constructed by bending, folding or crushing the aluminium developing texture in the dress. Additional integrated materials include a broken umbrella, old heels and an old dab's dress. Well, there you have it. That's our Dublin City finalists 2022. A huge congratulations to all successful designs and we cannot wait to see you hit that runway on the 5th of May in the Bored Gosh Energy Theatre. Make sure you grab your tickets because they're coming on sale very soon and they're going to fly out the door. If you didn't see your design on screen today, no stress, there's still a bit of hope. Tomorrow, RTE are announcing five wildcards, one from each region. So make sure that you are tuning into our Junk Couture socials for that all important info. But until then, warm up those vocal cords because we are back and better than ever with a live event. See you then.